so this is a video I'm making in response to my last video. Um, I just started a Patreon on why I choose to whiten, to skin whiten, which is different from whitening, um, for those who don't know. I was born lighter skin, lighter than I am now. I always show my baby pictures to kind of reference how light I was born. And people act like light-skinned people don't bleach too. And it's weird because they only act like they don't when convenient. Like, for example, when Beyonce had that one picture come out when she was in that uh, uh, silver dress, I think. And people was like, oh, she's skin bleaching, she's skin bleaching. But, you know, Kelly Rowland comes out and, you know, they're not making as big of a deal as the lighting. When Serena Williams gets called out for skin bleaching, skin lightening, it's the lighting, it's her hair color, it's all of that stuff. But when somebody like Beyonce, skin lightens, it has to be like this big deal. And it's not really a big deal, it's people make it a big deal. Because you can do whatever you want to do with your body. People get BBLs every day, I'm not judging nobody, you know. And this is one of those areas lightning it's kind of one of those taboo areas people are too afraid to talk about it people are too afraid to admit that they do it even though it's a billion dollar industry but where does that money come from i mean it's a billion dollar industry like come on people are there's a lot of fake outrage with stuff and i feel like skin lightning is one of them <laughs> and i'm just gonna be honest about that a lot of people aren't gonna be honest about that and you know I'm going to be honest about that because I don't care. Um, I have a white friend who tans all the time and, you know, they don't get any ish. Nobody talks anything about it. They just do what they do and they fine. It's their body. It's their do what they want to do. If I was as light skinned as Ice Spice, I'd probably tan sometimes my damn self because there's a particular color that I like. You know what I'm saying? It's not to get the lightest as possible. It's to get to a light, a tone that you like, for me anyway. So, you know, that's why it's not really a big deal to talk about these things. It's just, you know, I have the knowledge of what to do and how to do it. So I'm going to give it to you guys. If you don't want it, don't take it. If you do want it, then that's cool too. You're not, there's no judgment for me. No judgment at all. I mean, we're all doing something to ourselves. If you're not, then... Hey, more power to you. But, you know, for me, I just, I'm an enhancing ass bitch. I love beauty enhancements. I love wearing contacts and hair extensions and stuff like that. But it's never extremely opposite of me. It's always an enhancement of me. I'm not wearing blue contacts. I'm not wearing blonde hair. Even though black people can have blue eyes and blonde hair is still very rare. You know what I'm saying? So I like to look as natural as possible. If I'm going to wear any type of enhancements, contact, it's going to be brown or hazel, and that's it. I don't go for all the, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like enhancements. Like I only wear hair extensions that blend in with my hair texture. I don't want to change. I mean, you can to each his own, but to me, it's just about enhancing what I already have. I'm already light-skinned. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. My uh, Fenty shade is 330. I have the same skin complexion as a Mexican. When a Mexican goes out in the sun, we both tan the same, as dark as our, uh, what is the call of the, uh, the Fitzpatrick scale? I can only get so dark, so, you know, I just got a tan the other day, like, real bad, so I'm not as light as I normally am, so I'm just trying to get my tan my artificial tan off and that's it and i'm just trying to share with you guys how i do it so if you really want to and then i also share the mega doses that you have to take if you want to change complexions because i have people who want to do that too on my channel who are subscribed to me and i'm going to provide that too because i have the knowledge and why not you know but yeah i mean light skin people do bleach do lighten it's just one of those taboo topics that, you know what I'm saying? I'll just post pictures that I post on my Patreon of people who have light and who are already light skinned. It's not just Rihanna or Beyonce. I mean, anybody who actually 
does glutathione knows what a person who takes glutathione looks like. I mean, it's one thing to tell people that you had a tan all this time and now you're a different shape. I know a lot, like Black China did that. And you know, I'm not gonna do that <laughs> because it's kind of misleading, you know what I'm saying? Because you kind of can just tell. I mean, if you're doing it, you can just tell. But that's all I really want to say on here. Just letting people know that it's okay to light, lighten if you're doing it healthy anyway. It's your body. Do what you want to do. If you care about what other people think, then this is probably not the journey for you. Because people are going to have an opinion. <laughs> you just have to understand that. No matter what you do, people are going to have an opinion. So you got to do what makes you happy. You know what I'm saying? You only have... Well, I believe in reincarnation, so I'm not going to say that. There's only one life to live, because there's not to me in my belief system. You come back again. It's whatever you want to be, but a whole other topic. So, yeah. And that's all I really wanted to say. Uh, Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys next time. And follow the Patreon if you want to follow my artificial tan removing journey. It's so funny how people are, you know, just do you. You gotta just do you at the end of the day when you're doing this, if you choose to do this. And you can purchase my ebook. It gives my entire regimen, as well as mega doses for those who wanna actually whiten. And then some products you can use that will give you results if you're consistent with, you know, you might move a shade or two lighter if you're consistent within 90 days so let me know what you guys think and i'll talk to y'all next time